So you've decided you want to film your own hunt. It is so much fun, but there are definitely things that you can keep in mind to make it way easier and way more productive. First of all, if you're going to be hunting tree stands, one of the most difficult parts is trying to get a moving animal to stop, get your camera on him, focus it, and get the shot. Plus, make sure that you can draw and do everything you need to as a bow hunter. So what I recommend is trying to do something to draw them to that area. One thing I like to do, put a decoy out because that way you know where the deer are going to come to. Usually a buck will come face a decoy head on and want to fight it. So what I like to do is get my camera all set up, focused on the decoy. You keep your camera a little bit wider than you normally would and also position it so that when you're at full draw, you can peek over, take a look at it and make sure that your animal is in the screen and that you're rolling. Another thing is always have it on a tree arm. If you don't have a tree arm, you can make one really easy by just simply taking your bow hanger, screwing it into the tree. And if you happen to have a window mount for your spotting scope, clamp that on the bow hanger and now you can pan and tilt your camera and it's a nice easy tree arm setup. The next thing is if you're going to be doing some on the ground spot and stock hunting, I recommend having a light tripod so that you can quickly set it up but also take into consideration that you get a camera that has both manual and auto focus. Sometimes auto is easy because if it's in the wide open, it's just quick and it's easy and it works well. The problem is if you have trees or branches or grass in the way, sometimes that autofocus can snap onto that grass and your animal is completely out of focus. Instead of panicking, if you have a camera that does both, you simply switch it to manual, focus quickly, and you've got your animal in focus and you can move on and leave it there so long as they don't move again. Also, there's so many good cameras out there for not a lot of money right now. So look at getting the best camera that your money can buy. They've got 4K cameras for under $1,000 and it gives you unbelievable footage of your animal. They're small and they're easy to use. Now the next thing is you don't wanna just see the animal footage, right? You'd like to see a little bit of you on camera too. Well, let's face it, we're not actors. So you don't wanna be making this stuff up after the fact. So one thing I like to do is take a small camera like a Garmin or a GoPro or even a mount where you can use your phone on the side of your bow and have it pointing back at you. What is cool about that is you're gonna see your reaction the entire time. In fact, I have a Garmin that pairs with my watch and you can see your heart rate increase as the animal's coming in and it's pretty cool to see. And it's something that kind of shows how that pounding heart, it kind of just puts it through into the footage and it's a neat aspect. But whatever you decide to put as a small camera on your bow, make sure that you shoot with it and do a lot of practice because it's really gonna throw the balance out. And for me personally, usually I shoot with my quiver on. And the reason for that is my quiver full of arrows kind of balances out those cameras. So that's something to think about. But again, if you're gonna have a camera on your bow, one, make sure it's legal that you can have a camera on your bow. And two, make sure that you practice with it. But if you're gonna go out there and you're gonna do some filming, try to make the most of it. There's gonna be times that you may just have to decide, is it more important to get it on film or is it more important to notch your tag? And sometimes you just can't do both. But mentally try to prepare, decide if you're in a blind, which window you're gonna film out of, which window you're gonna shoot out of, when you're gonna draw and what the plan is just in case everything goes perfect. A lot of times it won't and you're gonna to have to decide things on the fly, but it's always good to kind of mentally go through that first before it happens to try to be as prepared as possible. So get out there, do some filming, get some beautiful footage, put it together for YouTube, for family and friends, for your kids, whoever it may be, just get out there and enjoy the outdoors.